Now, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me. So, when you're first starting out this game, as you can see, I have different weapons. You don't lock that until Hunter rank like 6 or 7. Um, we all know there's more weapons in Monster Hunter. So, I'm guessing that they're going to be unlocked later on. So, as you see, to save up your resources, hunt monsters because uh, the rare resources are really hard to get unless you live in the city. I live in a small town and you, and you see how far I have to walk. But this is set up the same as uh, Pokemon Go, so it irritates me a little bit. Because the cities, I'm pretty sure if I go to Cincinnati or something, big cities, um... I will basically see more resources, and I'm also guessing monsters, so I might go on there one day, up to the city one day and see how bad it is, or see how good it is just to collect resources, but if it's the same as Pokemon Go, I think that what they should do is for, for small towns that don't have much collecting points is sorry cars is add more spots for small towns. I think small towns in general should get on every establishment like even like the small stuff like they have it in parks churches like i don't get why like small businesses there's like my kroger has nothing on it has no gathering points by kroger or mcdonald's or or arby's or any of those and now i've been up there they have no gathering points up there it makes no sense but these two churches, as you see, where I'm about to go to has gathering points. Now, this game, the attack on these monsters are really weird, and I'm guessing the great Jagras, if you ever see me fight him, um, he, his attack, he'll, he'll right up and attack, and he'll still hit you sometimes when you're dodging. Or sometimes you'll dodge, and then his attack comes a, little, a second later after you dodge. So, on some monsters, always double dodge. That's why my advice is, and uh, the weapon you see me currently using is the weapon they, the game starts you out on. Yeah, the, these weapons right here are the ones they start you out on. So, I like poison, so I'm going poison for right now. Uh, these, I don't like these. They have a really long hit time, as you saw. And you get hit for a shitload of damage because you'll be swinging your sword and you'll be swiping trying to dodge and your game won't let you dodge while you're... or you're trying to hit with that weapon. It's really idiotic. And I also think the gathering points are kind of messed up too. Like you see that large gathering point? That should have counted for four different gathering, gathering points instead of one. So this game just came out. So there's some things they need to update on. Like the gathering respawn needs to be like at least every hour. 
I think I've counted out to every two hours, but it needs to be at least every hour or at least every 30 minutes or something like that. It needs to be more frequent because every weapon and every armor requires that rare, re that rare resource to upgrade it from rarity one to rarity two to rarity three, and it requires more of that resource. So that means you got to be outside grinding out more, and if it's reset to every... If it's two hours for that resource to respawn, that's just idiotic. Unless they start including it in monster drops. Which I think would be cool if monster drops included a random skull drop, a random uh, plant drop, and a random, um, what is it called? Random... There's the skull, bone, yeah, random bone drop. Let me go out here. Okay, random bone drop, random ore drop, and a random plant drop. I think whenever you kill a monster, it should drop three of those random drops. Every time you kill a monster. Because like I said. Whenever you're upgrading these. It, definitely if they add more weapons. It's just the grinding out on this game. Is going to become. Quite idiotic. Because I don't know what the max hunter rank on here is. I'm guessing it's 100. Like online. Like it is online. But um. Yeah. Let's fight these two guys. And then... We'll continue walking. Now this does work the same as online. As a Monster Hunter... The game. Because if you target their tail... You're caught off their tail. But... The only thing I don't like this, about this game is if I can do it with this guy. Okay, I didn't get it. So sometimes if you cut off the tail, it won't give you the tail as a drop, which I feel is idiotic. Because I did that with the great Jagras. I cut off its tail. I spent all that time in the hunt cutting off its tail. And you don't even get the, 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 the tail as a drop. Now we have a J great Jagras over there, so let's head over there. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, it's about going to be uh, maybe, I don't know how long of a walk. So if you guys just want to skip ahead. Now you do get potions every day, so. I think you get about five potions, so be careful about how many you use, but your max is ten. So, so use about... Now my time here is, is about 11.44 so in like 15 minutes I'm about to get 5 more potions. So just be careful about your potion count because like I said once you get up in these higher ranks. Now me.
Now I'm going to be grinding out the great Jagras for well it looks like a good minute because he's the best armor rating for me. Now the two equipment I just put on me has uh, paralyze on it, so it gives me a chance to paralyze my enemies. Oh, we gotta wait on the train! Oh my goodness! Okay, we're going to get these three down here, and then I'm going to end the stream. And then if you guys have any questions about this game, because I'm going home after, once I hit these three monsters up, I'm going home right after that. So, and I really don't want to see where... No offense, I don't want anyone seeing online where I live. And these things respawn, the monsters respawn every three hours, which I think isn't that bad. But sooner or later, it needs to go to every two monster, every two hours. Because, like I said, the respawn on this game is just needs to be lowered a little bit. I mean, the monsters need to respawn back every hour and a half. Now I'll show you the problem with this weapon. Dodge, dodge, dodge. See, I could not dodge there worth anything. Now, this thing does break off parts, so if you want to break off parts a lot, then this is the weapon for you. So, I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I might because it is really good at breaking off parts because if you because you can also kill monsters really quick with it as you saw now I'm gonna face this get great drag rest down here with it and we're gonna see how well I fare against it because that's a level two and level twos are a bitch to fight, but since I got more armor on me, and this time we're gonna target that tail, and hopefully we can cut it off. Like I said, this thing is meant for cutting. So, oh, uh, now if I'm gonna go to it, like I, I have this weapon in game. This is my main weapon in game. Cause I love this weapon in game. No, no, mine's the switch axe. So if they have the switch axe on here, I'll probably grind that out. So let's see how this fares against it.
see, I can't dodge right there at all. Okay, let's see if we got the tail. Okay, we got the tail this time. Yay. It's the one thing we can... Uh, we either level up the armor. Or we can level up. Now this thing is, I think this thing is cool. Now what we could do is go over there and get all those monsters. I mean, look at all of them over there. <laughs> I'm over here walking off the road. And I could go up there and go to the left and then go down that road and get all those monsters. But, like I said, it's 11.53 right now and it's pitch black. I think tomorrow... I'm going to get on my bike, go around, collect a lot of resources. I'll go to the park because the park near me has a shitload of resources, but I'm not allowed there at night. So, we're going to hit this guy up and then we're going to start heading home. So, once I kill this guy, you'll, I'm going to get off of here. And the good thing about the hammer is it already comes with that stunt. It already comes with the ability when you unlock it. So once you unlock the Great Jaguars, you unlock the hammer, basically. And that hammer is insane. As you'll see once I fight this. Now I have stun clothes on, so... This should stun this guy very quickly. And At least give me enough of resources too until tomorrow. Okay, let's fight this guy. Now we should be able to stun this guy very quickly. See that that that's just awesome right there. We stunned him with that ability. It's like, dude. But like I said, this ain't this isn't the. You could also get the great sword. The great sword is the same, but I got the ham. I got the. 
see. You can get the gray sword. So it's up to you if you want the gray sword or not. I'll probably get the gray sword. But I don't mind the hammer since I have the gray sword as the. I don't even see him on the map right now. This guy right there. Forget his name for some odd reason. All we need is four resources, and there they are, right there. We should be able to collect all of those. And then we'll see what our next mission point is, and then I'll get off of here. And then I'll come back tomorrow, and you guys will join me on my next video. Let's collect these resources. Now, I always kill those small guys because these small guys, as you see, they don't give you much resources. And you will need those to heck and back. Because every, every single thing requires sharp claws or... Once I upgrade this hammer more, I'll be one-shotting creatures too, so there's that. Now if I go on the other side of the road, I should be able to get this resource. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to let you guys off and I'm going to head home. Because it's starting to rain. And it's at 30 minutes anyways.